Hi everyone, we're at UDT 2022 here in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. A burning topic uh, currently in the Netherlands is the Walrus Class Replacement Program, the future submarine for the Royal Netherlands Navy. So I will attempt to cover this topic uh, today at the show. The three contenders are uh, Saab and Damon, Naval Group and TKMS. So we are starting our coverage with uh, Saab and Damon. Uh, sir, good morning. Thanks for welcoming us. Uh, can you please first introduce yourself? Uh, good morning, Javier. Good to have you here. I'm Frederik Gustafsson, head of campaign here for Saab Kokkums here in the Netherlands, uh, based here in, in the Netherlands as well. All right, Frederik. So uh, we all know that uh, Saab and Damon are in a partnership for this uh, competition. You are proposing a design based on the A26 uh, yeah. by Saab Kokkums. Yeah. What can you tell us about the submarine? What makes it unique and why do you think it's the right fit for the yeah. Royal Netherlands Navy? So here we have the uh, conceptual design of what we call the A26NL the adapted version of the A26 for Sweden, where we adapted some requirements that we foresee for the Dutch uh, Navy. Uh, we still uh, have not seen the final requirements, so still adapting, but this, as I said, the conceptual version, where we foresee some extended range capabilities compared to the Swedish version, etc. But I would say that all the technology that we already invested in the A26, we will use for the A26NL. Uh, and one of those features, of course, is the flexibility. We know these submarines will live for a long time, 30, 40 years. The environment around us will change several times during those years. So the, the, the concept we have where you actually can split the, the submarine, uh, refit it, extend it, make it shorter, change modules in, in the, is, I think, one of those features which will be very beneficial long term. We see that in the Swedish program right now where we do the upgrade on the Gotland class where we extended them, added in that case some AIP uh, modules, etc., uh, but also other capabilities. Uh, and I think that flexible capability to secure and make it future-proof, that is very important. Another strength of your proposal is uh, the cooperation between Saab and uh, local shipbuilder Damon. Uh, can you tell us more? Yeah, indeed. We have had a cooperation with the Damon since 2015, which for us is the natural choice. Uh, that's the way we normally work regardless whether it's been Gripen or with Global Eye or in this case with the submarines. Find a local strong partner that can help us and strengthen our proposal. Damon is extremely good in production and there they can support us a lot. We are good in design but then together that partnership we foresee will be very good and not only for Damon I would say. That would also indirectly involve much more of the Dutch uh, industry through the natural support network or, or supply network that the Daman already has. And the, the, is the plan still to build part of the submarine in Sweden and part of it here in the, the Netherlands? Yes, part of it will naturally be done in Sweden and parts uh, definitely here in the Netherlands. The exact split of that remains a little bit to be seen, but, but because it depends on when we do the final design and so on. But that's the, the concept to maximize and optimize the production to, to get the best return on investment. All right, Frederic, that was very clear. Thank you very much. We are now in the booth of uh, French Shearbuilder Naval Group to learn more about their proposal for the World Class Submarine Replacement Program. Sir, good morning. Can you please introduce yourself? Good morning, Xavier. My name is Stéphane Meunier. I'm Head of Operational Marketing for Naval Group. All right, Stéphane, so please tell us more about uh, your proposal. Yes, so first we are very happy to work on that uh, uh, project in this particular context of a, a new threats and a new geostrategic context uh, nowadays. So the main objective is to answer uh, the Royal Netherlands Navy needs and especially the needs to have an expeditionary submarine to be able to uh, patrol, to conduct patrol uh, far from the Netherlands, uh, that means uh, in the Indian Ocean, in the Atlantic or in Caribbean Sea for example. Uh, so that means that the submarine will be a quite big submarine uh, to be able to, uh, to have a, a, robust, uh, a robust design, very resilient and uh, able to conduct very long operation far from the home port. Second point uh, in the submarine field, uh, what is very important is the acoustic superiority. So the design of submarine we are proposing is very stealth submarine, acoustically speaking, including the, the, the mastering of the target eco strength. 
and in the second point, fitted with a very powerful sonar system, which is at the heart of the performances of a modern submarine. Third point is um, the firepower and uh, the combat system. This submarine will be fitted with a very efficient combat system, uh, a very modern one, uh, using all the digital technology currently developed for the French Barracuda uh, SSM class and maybe uh, upgrade uh, again, and uh, with um, the ability to uh, operate or to, to use a, a, a lot of weapons uh, and maybe other means of action like uh, special operation forces or drones, UUV and UAV, then at least uh, we need a very uh, robust and resilient submarine. Um, that's why it's quite easier for us to start from the design of uh, Barracuda class submarines because SSN are designed to be able to operate during very long period. And this is a very good point for, for the design we are proposing coming from the Barracuda family. Uh, let me remind our audience that uh, Suffren, the first of the Barracuda type uh, submarine, uh, just entered the active service uh, in France uh, last week. Uh, speaking of which, so the, the design is based on the Barracuda currently in service now with the French Navy. How is this an advantage for your proposal? Uh, the main advantage of the, our proposal is uh, uh, robustness and resiliency of the, of the design of the, of the submarine, uh, the ability to have a, a common part of the design, of course it will be a conventional submarine, Barracuda, Suffren is a nuclear one, but uh, the rest of the submarine uh, will be based uh, on, on the same design uh, as far as possible. And uh, the third point is uh, stealth. Uh, stealth is a major asset and acoustic superiority in general is a major asset of, uh, of the, the Suffren class submarine as Barracuda class family. The third contender for the world-class replacement program here in the Netherlands is, of course, TKMS with the Type 212 CDE. Despite my best effort, and again, unfortunately, uh, TKMS doesn't want to talk to us or answer our questions. Uh, so I'll try to give my best shot at uh, describing uh, this. Uh, they are showcasing it for the first time uh, here at uh, UDT. Uh, their proposal is based on the Type 212 CD, uh, already selected by the German Navy and the Norwegian Navy. Uh, so this is the 212 CDE, E stands for export. What to say, uh, I think it's very difficult because uh, they don't share any information with me. Uh, the shape is very unusual, uh, supposedly this is to escape uh, active sonar uh, detection. Uh, so you could say it's an improved uh, hull design, however, uh, we could wonder if this is very hydrodynamic uh, or not. And uh, I will also share with you a few comments by uh, regular Naval News contributor H.I. Sutton from uh, Covertures.com, who uh, wrote a very really good and detailed piece about this submarine uh, previously at uh, NavalNews.com. Outline specifications published by TKMS show the size of the new submarine. It is much larger than the current Type 212A, with surface displacement increased by an incredible 65% from 1,524 tons to about 2,500 tons. Length is increased by nearly 30% from 57.20 meters to 73 meters, and the width is increased by nearly 50% from 6.8 meters to 10 meters. Eight is also increased by two meters. One of the driving factors for the increase in size is that the submarine is now enclosed in a large outer hull. This is shaped to reduce both sonar signature. Other benefits from the increase has not been published. We can guess, however, that it might carry more weapons, have a second diesel generator, and be able to operate for a longer time. There are rumors of a vertical launch system for the Norwegian boats to be armed with the NSM naval strike missile. This is currently unconfirmed, however. The Type 212 CD of uh, Germany and Norway will be fitted with the Orca combat management system by uh, KTA Naval System, that's a joint company between Kongsberg and uh, TKMS. 
and uh, well, since it's on display here, they're probably proposing the same combat system for the Type 212 CDE uh, being proposed to the Royal Netherlands Navy.